in these times. A lot of people think that music's ability to connect to causes stopped in the 60s. No, it ain't over yet. <laughs> The era of activism mixed with musical inspiration today in Hyde Park. An iconic 1960s folk singer is in town. His visit, as WLWT News 5, Sean London explains, has a national social justice purpose. This is not just some run-of-the-mill house party. Paul Stuckey's in the house. Uh, for the last 50 years in our country, uh, we have had a cultural revolution. And yes, today young people are becoming our conscience on issues such as guns. There are social causes to make this a better world, and every cause needs a language, and the language is inevitably music. This is about music to life, communicating music's capacity to influence current issues, and importantly, as you'll see tonight, training a network of musician change agents. That's really at the core of what we're all here tonight to celebrate. The program works via a friendly competition among musician activists in a given locale. Here in Cincinnati, we had 25 entries, narrowed down to four finalists by our judges, who included Bootsy Collins, but not Jerry Springer. The four finalists performed at the fundraiser and a winner was chosen. All the finalists received a cash prize. The winners here received $5,000 cash and $5,000 in support of their cause. In the song Dear Mother, we are confronting environmental issues, mankind's impact on the planet, um, reckless use of natural resources, uh, destruction of green spaces, and pollution in general. I'm going to open up my consciousness. I'm going to use a song to to ask a question instead of assuming that I just know everything about the situation and just to get angry and bitter. And uh, because I think sometimes we stop there and it just brings us into more conflict and, and more pain. And we're all hurting in some way or another. And so this song was my my response in just saying I I just want to ask for something different. I used to work with an organization called Ceasefire Cincinnati, and I made a PSA CD, um, and we put it on iTunes, and the money went towards continuing our efforts. And I would like to be able to revamp that. Um, I believe that if I was, um, if I had the funding behind me, I would be able to mentor more kids. Maybe I ain't just making them up, but every time I say what's up, you treat me like I don't belong. Youth suicide is an epidemic, and it's one that has found us in Cincinnati, specifically in my neighborhood of Price Hill. And I, could barely keep you. And I want to create a program in the public school system for kids to have a space for expression of ideas that don't have a home elsewhere in their lives.